And so we'll put it on like that and bolt it down. But uh, for now, so you can see what we're doing down here, I wanted to uh, finish up with these parts. Uh, these are, you've got four, uh, I believe that's inch and a quarter, and then that'll go down through the, uh, the, heat, the, the print bed all the way down, and we'll screw those on with those screws. So that's what those screws are for. We'll assemble these three quarter inch screws with 632 nuts. Um, they'll actually be two each, and uh, we'll put them down through the, the bed onto that. But I wanted to take care of a lot of these little parts right off the bat here with this stage. So this is just some tubing. And what we do is these couplers are pretty cool. I didn't design these. Um, but you've got threaded rod that will go down through one, or go down through this side. And this side will actually pinch the tubing. So we're going to put tubing in there on these motor shafts so that we have a little more forgiveness and grip on the tubing. So that tubing just presses down. And one important point on this tubing, you don't want to push it all the way down to the bottom, like shove it all the way down. You want to, these steppers, you know, they're not, they're not so powerful they're going to overcome a whole lot of drag. So you want to make sure that the bottom of the tubing here does not mash into the bottom of the motor um, and create drag. All right, so make sure that's, and you might have to cut them a little shorter if that is happening. So these Z-couplers, there's four parts, but they, they go together like this. And it's kind of cool because um, there's a trapped nut. And I've gone ahead and put in a few of these. So I just wanted to show you how the rest of these go together. Again, I keep it pretty simple. I just grab a pair of pliers, and I'm going to pop that in there. And you want it laying, I got a little crooked. You want it laying um, really flat so that when you thread <clears throat> from the other side that, you know, it goes in straight, doesn't fight you. Steal one of these guys, okay. And you can kind of feel it snap in there. So let's just, I'm just going to put some of these together. Now the fun thing is, um, I don't know if you can tell, but the, the tube part, the bottom, is actually a little wider, and the threaded rod part, the top, is a little narrow, more narrow. Now if I tried to put it on um, the wrong way, if I, uh, I misalign this, so obviously that's not going to work, it forces you to put it together the right way. So don't worry about how these go together. Um, they'll go together the right way. Whichever ones you grab, um, it will work. So let's get these through, just so you can see how that works. Now, whenever possible, I actually use a little, little screw gun just to save my wrist, save a little time. You could also do it by hand. And you want to leave those nice and loose. You know, we're going to actually press those on here in a second. And again, sometimes these holes might need a little cleaning. back to the lazy way. And I never tighten down all the way with a, uh, a power screwdriver because you really want to feel what you're doing at the end, you know. You don't want to, and it'll rip it out of your hand too. So uh, I've got those in, leave them a little loose. Grab a couple more screws here. Do the next one. Kind of boring to watch some of these steps, but I wanted you to see exactly how this goes together. So you can see that it really is pretty straightforward to put together. It really helps too. One thing I like about the kit is as opposed to all the way assembled, someday we might sell uh, assembled bots, but it's kind of fun to learn how everything works and it especially helps in troubleshooting when you see how it goes together, um, you'll you'll undoubtedly run into problems, you know, just like putting together anything. You'll get a part backwards or you'll put it on wrong or whatever. You learn about your bot and it's uh, really helpful to help you. Now, um, troubleshoot. So right here, I'm going to show you that one hole is smaller, one hole is larger. 
See that? Those are the large ones. I'll even loosen that up a little bit. And what, what I want to, reason that's important is that the tubing that we just placed over our motors is the big one, not the small one. So you don't have to line these up. Um, don't, you don't have to get real fussy about these right now because uh, we will adjust them later. You'll probably take them off half a dozen time, times, who knows. But I wanted to put those on there. And these don't have to line up as far as like, they don't have to spin together. They're going to spin at different, they're going to spin at the same rate, but they'll be, you know, like wheels on a bicycle. It's not always going to match, you know, as far as being the same direction. Um, you'll adjust these two sides independently to make sure it's flat. So don't worry about where those positions are. All right, so uh, there we have everything but the belt. And you'll get two belts in your kit. And one is short and one is long. All right, and hopefully I got the right ones. Yeah, the long one is the one that has to loop all the way back around the X, come back again. This is the short one because it's kind of an interesting design. It's only going to go through once. And... Uh, 